Ever pondered why we haven't found extraterrestrial life yet? Or, are we just not looking in the right way? These are questions that have tickled the minds of the curious for generations. We live in a universe that is vast beyond comprehension, filled with billions of galaxies, each home to billions of stars and potentially trillions of planets. Given these astronomical numbers, it seems almost absurd to think that we are alone in the cosmos. In fact, it's statistically improbable. Yet here we are, scanning the skies, sending out signals and listening for responses, only to be met with silence. This is the mystery known as the Fermi Paradox. Despite the high probability of extraterrestrial life, we find ourselves seemingly alone in the universe. We listen, and all we hear is the echo of our own voices against the vast cosmic backdrop. But why is this? This is where the dark forest theory comes into play. Imagine a dark forest filled with hunters, each one silent, each one deadly. This is the image that the dark forest theory presents to us. But we're not talking about an ordinary forest here. This forest is a metaphor for the universe. And the hunters? They represent civilizations scattered across the cosmos. In this cosmic forest, silence is a survival strategy. Each civilization, like a hunter, keeps its presence hidden to avoid attracting attention. Why? Because in this dark forest, revealing one's location could invite danger, even extinction. The forest is dark not just because of the vast, empty space, but because of the potential threats lurking within it. Just like hunters in a forest, civilizations in the universe might choose to remain silent, to hide their existence. The assumption being, any other civilization advanced enough to receive their signals could also have the technology to harm them. This concept is known as cosmic silence, and it's one of the key principles of the dark forest theory. You see, the universe is incredibly vast. We're talking about billions of galaxies, each with millions or billions of stars, and potentially even more planets. It's statistically probable that other advanced civilizations exist out there. But if that's the case, why haven't we detected any signs of them? This question is known as the Fermi Paradox. The dark forest theory offers a chilling answer to the Fermi Paradox. It suggests that perhaps civilizations are out there but they're choosing to remain silent. They're hiding just as a hunter hides in a forest, waiting, watching, always cautious. The dark forest theory paints a picture of a universe where silence is not only golden, but crucial for survival. It underlines the potential danger of revealing our existence to other, possibly hostile, civilizations. In this grand cosmic game, it's better to be the hunter than the hunted. So in the grand scheme of the universe, we are like hunters in a dark forest. The dark forest theory is built upon a few significant pillars. Standing tall and unyielding, these pillars embody the axioms that shape our understanding of this theory. Let's delve deeper into them, shall we? The first axiom is the concept that survival is the primary need of civilization. Now this may seem quite obvious, but it's a bit more complex than it appears on the surface. The drive to survive is not just a biological instinct, it's a fundamental driving force behind every action a civilization takes. Whether it's developing new technologies, expanding territories, or even engaging in warfare, the underlying motive is always survival. It's a game where the stakes are the very existence of a civilization. The second pillar takes us a step further. It posits that civilization continuously grows and expands. Now consider the history of humanity. From our early days as hunter-gatherers we've been on a relentless march towards growth. We've built cities, explored continents, and even reached out to the stars. This constant expansion isn't just a characteristic of human civilization, it's a fundamental principle that applies to all civilizations, everywhere in the cosmos. The final axiom of the dark forest theory is perhaps the most haunting. Civilizations always tend to keep quiet. Imagine a dark forest filled with unknown dangers. The wise move would be to tread silently, to avoid drawing attention to oneself. In the cosmic dark forest, civilizations may choose to remain silent, to avoid attracting the attention of potentially hostile entities. After all, in the vast expanse of the universe, silence could be the key to survival. These three pillars, survival, growth, and silence, form the backbone of the dark forest theory. They weave together a narrative that challenges our conventional understanding of the cosmos. They force us to reevaluate our place in the universe, to question our actions and our assumptions. These axioms construct a chilling perspective on our place in the universe. Why did we name it the Dark Forest? Is the universe really that quiet? The name Dark Forest conjures images of a dense, shadowy wilderness, where every rustle of leaves could signal danger. 
It's a brilliant metaphor for the chilling silence of the cosmos. The universe in all its vastness is strangely quiet. We call this cosmic silence, and it's a concept that's as fascinating as it is eerie. Imagine the universe as an endless forest, teeming with potential life. Yet we hear nothing, see nothing, it's as if every civilization out there is playing an interstellar game of hide-and-seek, and we're it. The Dark Forest theory suggests that this cosmic silence isn't a coincidence but rather a survival tactic. Now, you might ask, what does the Dark Forest theory have to do with the Fermi Paradox? Well, the Fermi Paradox is the apparent contradiction between the high probability of extraterrestrial life and the lack of contact with such civilizations. If there are countless stars like our sun, with planets like Earth, where is everyone? The Dark Forest theory offers a chilling answer to this paradox. It suggests that civilizations, once they become advanced enough to communicate with the cosmos, also become aware of the inherent dangers in revealing their location. It's like shouting in a dark forest, you're likely to attract predators. So, they choose silence. They hide, they survive. This theory paints a picture of the universe where civilizations are like hunters in the dark, silently watching and waiting, careful not to give away their position. It's a universe where silence is not just golden, but essential for survival. So the next time you look up at the night sky, remember that the silence you're hearing might not be emptiness. It could be a symphony of civilizations, all playing the same silent song of survival. The silence of the cosmos might just be the result of civilizations hiding for their survival. What does the dark forest theory mean for us, for humanity? This question brings us to the heart of the matter, the implications of the dark forest theory. It's a theory that may sound like it's straight out of a science fiction novel, but the implications it poses are very real and quite frankly a bit daunting. Let's start with space exploration. We've always dreamt of reaching out to the stars, of setting foot on distant planets, of unlocking the mysteries of the universe. But the dark forest theory suggests a chilling possibility. What if every civilization out there is like a silent hunter, hiding in the darkness of the forest, afraid to reveal its presence? If that's the case, our attempts at contacting extraterrestrial life might be akin to shouting in the dark forest, attracting unwanted attention. It's a sobering thought that could reshape our approach to space exploration. Next, let's consider the search for extraterrestrial intelligence or SETI. For decades we've been listening for signals from outer space, hoping to find evidence of other intelligent life. But what if the silence we've been met with is not due to a lack of life, but rather, a universal strategy of silence, out of fear? The dark forest theory suggests that silence might not mean emptiness. Instead it could mean a universe filled with civilizations too afraid to make noise. Finally let's look at what this theory means for the future of humanity. If the universe is indeed a dark forest, then our survival might depend on our ability to stay quiet, to remain hidden. It's a stark contrast to our natural curiosity and thirst for exploration, but if survival is the ultimate goal, then we might need to rethink our approach to the cosmos. In the grand cosmic game, we might just be players in a dark forest, trying to survive. We've always looked at the stars with wonder and hope, but the dark forest theory brings a new perspective, one that's a bit darker, a bit more cautious. It's a reminder that in the vast expanse of the cosmos, we're not just explorers, but also potential prey. In the grand cosmic game we might just be players in a dark forest trying to survive. The dark forest theory presents a dark yet fascinating view of the universe. It challenges us to reconsider our preconceived notions of the cosmos, the silence that permeates it, and our place within it. At its core it posits that civilizations like hunters in a dark forest stay silent to survive, making the universe a quiet yet potentially teeming place. This theory forces us to grapple with profound questions about existence and identity. It asks us to consider the possibility of being hidden players in a grand cosmic game where silence is not only golden but essential for survival. But remember, this is just a theory. It's a compelling perspective that encourages us to think, to question, and to wonder. It invites us to form our own opinions, to engage in a conversation that extends beyond our planet and reaches the farthest corners of the universe. So, next time you gaze at the stars, remember, we might not be alone, but we might be hiding in a dark forest.